Adam. We're uh, about to get the old cars out. <laughs> <laughs> He's struggling with this. He, did you see him? Yeah, yeah I, I saw him. I saw him. I can hold straight face. He can't. I can feel it. <laughs> You're so still, we're here about still alone. <laughs> we're about to get our old cars out of storage. It's that time of year. Uh, I got the Edsel here, and Adam's 58 Chrysler is back there. With a flat tire. Yeah, yep. so I'll have to pump that up, but yep. we're going to see how they start. Hardly drove them at all. Yeah. Say, so. say that again. Again? We don't know much about them. Yeah. We don't know much about them. We <laughs> own them, but we don't know much about them. We have hardly drove them at all. We brought them here, and they sat all winter, so uh, let's see if they'll run. We'll do a will it run video. Yeah. And I didn't bring a trailer, so I'll, uh, I'm will i going to do a will it drive home video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. Okay, we're going to pop this up. Hopefully it takes air. Like we're out of stuff already. Taking it. We've got new tires for it, so don't worry about that. But we got to get it home first. There, that should work. There we go. First, first project done. Okay, you gonna see if yours will run? Yeah, we're gonna see if the S will run. I'll throw a battery in mine at the same time.
All right, so we're gonna try the 58 Chrysler now. I have to try and, uh, I got, well, there's high expectations. Let's see if it starts like the Edsel. Yeah, the Edsel went pretty good. It went pretty good. Reading empty? Just the Edsel mark in his territory. Neutral is the start button, so if you press it into neutral, the starter zings. Okay. So I don't know how to put it in neutral when it's running. Just try and lightly push it. I've done it, and then you hear zing oh. of the off the ring gear. So to put it in neutral, I'll do this, and it pops into neutral. And then if I turn the key back on, it starts up and runs in the. Hmm. Parking brake works. Yeah, see, my 57, nothing over here works. I oh, gotta yeah. look at the wiring, so I don't even know how that's supposed to work yet. Because this is, should be mechanical. It should cables. be. Yeah. So it might be out of adjustment. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. Runs good. When I touched the brakes there, the brakes locked up and then it stalled and then it didn't, uh, but they're, they're okay now. The bad side of the Denton. Quite the pair of 58 cars. It is. Well, that's a 58 too, eh? Yep. I forgot. All right, we have the Edsel in tow, and we're going to see if the Chrysler will make it all the way back to Adams. It's not very far, but it is raining. <laughs> and then you got to slow it right down to get it to come back. Drive great. Square bias flies. Oh yeah, they're not very good. 
Well, they're rotten too. They're all split, so maybe that's a warning to you want to slow down. So if yeah. you do pop, you don't go upside down the ditch and tear off the fender. You can kind of see. They look a little wonky. Yeah, and they're uh, two of them are uh, Sears tires, and then two of them are Atlas. So those are Atlas tires. I'm not sure the last time you could buy an Atlas tire, but it wasn't two weeks ago. The back ones are Sears. That's right here. There, Sears tires. Not sure when they had their own brand of tires. That's how you know they're old. Here, I'll show you under the hood. The old Spitfire 354 polyspherical cylinder headed V. Got a little bit of uh, smoke coming out the crankcase vent, but that's okay. Runs fine. And it appears that that's unrestored, which I find surprising. Yeah. I didn't. Ex I thought it was an older restoration when I bought it, and then the more I worked on it, I think that's just an unrestored car. We're back at Adams and we're checking out his cool barracuda that lays frame. <laughs> Literally. Body drop. It's all cambered out too. They say that's cool. Yep. <laughs> but you're right. How does something get this rusty? It is rusty. I've seen rusty cars and this is worse. The springs are inside the trunk. Right through. Here, I'll get the key. Gas tank's lying on the ground. But it runs off of it. We had to boost the pack dead or we'd fire it up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Rear springs right through. <laughs> it's uh, not very good. Every time I close that, it gets lighter. It was an altered wheel base until I towed it from the control arms backwards and then it pulled itself back together. <laughs> and then I can kind of show you under the hood. I have do not open on it for the people who just stop over and want to check it out. Because the first thing you want to do is open the hood. It's a secret combination. I can't open any farther. I have to stand on it and close the hinges. This is what baffles me. How is that structural inner fender that rusty? And if you grab the bumper here. That's crazy. But it runs fantastic. It fires right up and runs with a boost because the battery's dead. The old BF Goodrich radiator, universal radiator hoses, top and bottom. Carburetor looks like it came off the Titanic. Power brakes, Kelsey Hayes, four piston disc brakes, 273 Super Commando, four speed. It's too bad, so rusty. It is past so rusty. I don't know how, I don't like what you're saying, I don't know how it's so bad. The hood's folding up. Yeah. Like this isn't even attached anymore. Nope. Oops. <laughs> oh no, the hinge went all the way to the top. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you did what you didn't want to do. I didn't want to do. I put do not open on it for myself even. Oh, there's a trick to it. You got to get up on the windshield. <laughs> you do. Here, this is how you close it. I opened it once by accident. So if you press it right here. There we go. The only way it'll close. And it was a one owner car until a couple weeks ago. You just give it a pull, don't worry about that, it'll be all right. There you go. 
you can see the torsion bar cross member lifting up through the floor. And the back seat's a little higher on this side because the spring shackle through the front spring mounts through the floor. Yeah, you can see it. Yep, right through. And the speedometer goes to 240 kilometers an hour because it's an export car. Factory tack. It is cool though. And when we pulled it, the, the front K-frame moved forward and disconnected the steering column. It was steering before that. Radio delete. Oh, and the Volkswagen seat belt. That's so weird. Yep. So the car was in Germany, so I don't know if someone added that or if it was part of the export thing but you can see the big Volkswagen logo on the seat belt it's funny the sill plates not even that corroded normally that's the first thing to go it not saying it's not yeah but, but comparing to <laughs> most it's got literal piles of aluminum yep the door is still open and closed surprisingly I just can't believe how rusty it is, but it's still in one piece. Yeah, I sort don't of. think it'll ever move again, which is the decision we have to make of how what's going to happen with it. Is it going to get parted out, or are all the parts going to be swapped onto a different shell? How does that even close that night? Are you looking for the Amsterdam? Yeah, well, yeah I, I think, think we'll be able to get that on camera. I think it's the camera. most clear is on the driver's side vent window. This side's not bad, but the driver's side one seems to be the best. Don't think we'll be able to get that on camera, but yeah, all the glass is made in Amsterdam. So, there's the marker lights for export. Interesting mirrors on it. Yeah. Which I assumed were just put on after, but then the more I learn about it, I'm not sure now. Seven years ago when I looked at the car, the paint on the roof was still good, but they put a tarp on it, and that's what it did over several years of having a tarp on it. Not saying it ruined the car, the car was already ruined, but uh, it was just crazy what the tarp did to the paint. Yeah, it didn't help. Not, no, no, it didn't make it look any better. No. So, that's the Barracuda, eight and three quarter rear end in it. And uh, not a crack in the dash. Headliner's good. Good parts car, but now we just find, gotta find a car to put the parts on. Yeah.